Hello and welcome to a brand new show called GTA News, a place for all things Grand Theft Auto, a weekly or bi-weekly show in which I'll show you the most interesting happenings in the GTA world you may have missed. Since it's our first show and I have no idea if it's a good idea or not to continue it, make sure you click the like button so I know. The first episode will cover the happenings in the last month or so, and in the future episodes I'll cover the last maybe week or two depending on how busy the news cycle is, so let's start with the actual news. The biggest topic we will discuss today and the biggest news in maybe the last 10 years in the GTA world is that GTA 6 got leaked, it broke the internet guys. That's right, the game we have been waiting for for almost 10 years got leaked and it's not even finished yet, it's still in pre-production stage, so it's nowhere near completion. On the 18th of September, a hacker leaked 90 different videos, footage of GTA 6, development footage of GTA 6. Well, I'm not gonna show you that footage, because I'll get a strike on my channel like I already did on my second channel, but more on that later. Of course I'm not going too into it, I already made a video on the topic, I discussed everything in detail in that video. So go check it out. Excited, many GTA YouTubers, including myself, decided to cover the news. Because that's what you do. Because when you're excited, that's what you do. Right? Well, Take Two had a different idea. They copyright striked everybody, and not everybody, but most people who covered GTA 6. YouTubers such as 8BE, Gilly Master, Dark Viper Owl, myself as well included, we got strikes on our channels. For seemingly no reason, actually, because even showing, apparently even showing a blurred image in the thumbnail of the video files is enough for a copyright strike. For instance, look at this. What is this? This is my porn folder. Can you tell it's a porn folder? Of course you cannot. Can you tell if this is GTA 6 footage? Ah, uh, No, you cannot tell. So this was completely unjustified. Many strikes were justified because they were just showing the full, uh, the full footage, which you should definitely not do, but many were just images of blurred stuff which you cannot see. Look at my porn! Can you see it's porn? No, you cannot. So Take Two had no right to issue many strikes, but of course they're protecting their property, so they had to issue some strikes. Some were justified, some were not. You know, even after 11 years on this platform talking about the game, showing how to properly complete them, giving guides and helping people play their game, they still strike people for no reason. Speaking of strikes, however, let's move on to the second topic. Oh boy, this one is a doozy. So, there's a website, a modding website for the old GTA games like GTA 3, GTA Vice City and San Andreas, which got a malware warning, which would be fine and dandy, but this caused the website to shut down. The warning was for RE3 and REVC, two amazing mods, but as all of you know, these mods do not have malware. So this strike or this takedown on the website was complete crap. This completely sunk the reputation of the website and of course it did. If you hear malware, are you gonna download from this website? Of course you're not, even if you're almost sure. If Google says there's malware, you're not gonna go and <laughs> download stuff from it, right? Well, as this was going on, which lasted for like two days maybe, YouTubers who had links to mix mods in the descriptions of their videos, like myself, got copyright strikes. I avoided a copyright strike, many people did not. I don't know how I did, but many people got copyright struck for each link in the descriptions of their videos. Each link. Look at this. This is one of my videos, guys. It has 50 links. If I got a copyright strike for each one of these links, I would not be making this video right now. I just got lucky. Many YouTubers such as the amazing Internet Rob and Just Gesha also got a strike. Luckily, Just Gesha got his strike resolved, his channel is clean now, and he decided to use Pastebin to put links in the future, in the descriptions, and guys, if you are a YouTuber and if you want to link mods in your description, do not do that. What I advise you is to use sites such as Spacebin, GitHub, 
tweet longer even, or even use a pinned comment, put the links in a pinned comment, never in the description, because you never know what's gonna happen. A website could get a malware warning again, and you could get a copyright strike. For no reason, because you have no control if a website is gonna get a malware warning, so you put the link, and two years down the line, strike, your channel is gone. Well, after a few days, Mixmods is completely back, there's no malware, don't worry guys, please use the website, it's the best website ever. Out of all the websites, I think this is the best website for the older games, for mods of course, so be my guest, use it, there's nothing to worry about. And yeah, it's crappy because lots of people almost lost their entire livelihood for what? For a mistake? It sucks. Next news story. The third story is also about mods Quant V. Have you heard of this mod? Maybe you have, it's a very famous graphics mod for GTA 5. Well, turns out the mod maker is a complete scumbag, because he put malicious code in the mod. So what happens if you install this mod, what happened in the past, before it got resolved? It completely wiped your entire hard drive, yeah, if you don't pay for it. It's like a anti-piracy measure or something, I don't completely understand it, but that's what happened. You could install a mod to pretty up your GTA 5 game, and what happens, your entire drive is completely gone. Whatever you had on your hard drive, bam, gone in an instant. Well, naturally this blew up and Take 2 took action, and the mod is no longer in development. And ugh, I, I, ugh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but cover your ears, okay? Cover your ears. Good job, take two. Uh, you, you did very well. Good job. Lastly, let's finish off on a few good story in the GTA world. That xguy 762 a Reddit user, got a bonus of 11 million dollars on GTA Online. And no, it's not because Rockstar made a mistake and took out the money previously and gave it back, but it's actually a bonus for something he did. Unfortunately, the Reddit user spent it all on hookers and that's the last we saw of him. A salute to him, he died in a good way, in between some bosoms. And guys, this was it for this week's news broadcast. I hope you enjoyed, I covered last month or so, and the future episodes I'll cover the last week or two weeks, depending on how busy the news schedule is, what happens in the GTA world, something huge could blow up like a GTA 6 trailer, which I actually expect next month, but we shall see. Let me know if you guys like this series, and if you have submissions for news, of course, go to my Discord server, I have a special channel just so you can submit news articles, news stories, whatever you find interesting, submit it there, it's gonna help me quite a lot, and of course I'll give you full credit in the video itself, at the end of the video, I'm gonna sh shout out your name, that you helped me make this video possible. So guys, thanks so much, this video is sponsored by my lovely channel members and patrons who are Rain, Taze, Manta Nugget, Monish Pardeep, Epic LF, Shin Tae, SMRJ, Pari Bruce Lane, Clint McCurley, Kay's Knights, Clint Pentacles, Jacob Madley, Max Robinson, Jim Francesco, Marcus Sultanen and everybody else on the screen. Stay tuned for more news.